Merry Christmas everyone! <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for today's video. It is currently Christmas Eve. It is bang on five o'clock and I'm doing a last minute rush around in preparation for Charlie to get back from work. So I'm about to fill up her stocking. I hope everything that I've bought for it fits because I haven't actually tested that out yet. I also need to write her card and also write the neighbour's Christmas cards that we need to send. And I've had this come through the post from somebody for her today. Another little cheeky Christmas present which I need to wrap up so that she doesn't see that. And I think that is everything that's on my to-do list. I thought I would start filming today rather than Christmas day just because we've got a few plans we're gonna make a little gingerbread house which is not gingerbread it's chocolate because we do not do gingerbread around here and we're also having a little bit of a spread tonight party picky foods my absolute favorite and we've got some really really good stuff so without any further ado I'm gonna jump straight into the video because I need to get all of my chores done I really really hope you enjoy please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and most importantly have a lovely Christmas Merry Christmas! <laughs> so Charlie's not long got back from work and if my hair looks a mess it's because I've just delivered all of the cards to our neighbours. It's now just coming up to half past six and I'm about to put the food in the oven but just wanted to quickly show you what I picked up. First up we have this seafood platter. This is from Asda. It's got lots of different types of smoked salmon in and then also some different types of prawns. Very excited about that. Next up we have some king prawns which are my absolute favourite and these ones are absolutely massive. Then we have these which is something that I cannot pronounce but they're basically pastries. There's three different types so we have smoked salmon and creme fraiche, goat's cheese and caramelised onion and ham hock and cheese. These look really really tasty. This is particularly something that I am excited for and it's eight donut chicken dippers with barbecue sauce and waffle crumb sprinkles. And then we also have this candy cane sausage roll with pork and sage in it. And then last but not least, we also have a cheese board and then all the usual dessert things like chocolate lugs. And Charlie's made something called a fruit cake, which we're gonna give a go. I'll be sure to show you the finished result. I'm really excited because I am so, so hungry. Well, we didn't manage to get the chimney on it. I don't really know how that was supposed to go on, but in my opinion, not too shabby for a first time chocolate house maker. Okay, I'm not sure when the last time I updated you all was. Charlie wasn't feeling too well after we made the gingerbread slash chocolate house. So I think the festivities came to a close then, which is fine. We've had a nice chilled out evening, just trying to lie down and relax and recover. I've had a shower and washed my hair and put on my Christmas pajamas, which is very exciting. And I've just found Charlie a bath, which is currently draining and she's getting on her pajamas. 
but of course somebody has to come downstairs and do the deeds that need doing and so without saying anything cheers merry christmas everyone Merry Christmas, my little princess. Merry Christmas. Ah, spread your love. What if your sweetness could reach everyone? There'd be no wars. Maybe the birds will sing about your heart. Maybe the trees will. <laughs> we are heading downstairs to see if Santa's been to our house. What? What's that? What? What are you gasping at? Santa better be cleaning that house. What is it? Oh! What's that? Oh my god. Quick, has he eaten his stuff in the living room? Let's have a look. Peeping, that's it. You fill my head with roses. I can help you dream away. Oh my god! It looked like he was in a bit of a rush there. Look, they didn't get to finish anything. Maybe there is a star with your name. One thing I know is that. So we are off to Leeds to see one of your favourite musicians. Get ready to run around a new city and dance together all night. <laughs> oh my goodness, I am feeling so incredibly lucky and grateful. We've just finished opening up our Christmas presents and rang a few family members and things which we're not able to see today. And I just can't believe everything that I've been lucky enough to receive. I'm not going to be showing you everything right now. There will be a what I got for Christmas coming on my channel at some point next week after I've seen other family members and things over the next few days. But I'm just so, so happy right now with some of the gifts that I've managed to get. I just I can't believe it, I'm actually lost for words. But it's now just gone half past 11 and we're in the kitchen starting to prep up for dinner. We are about to start prepping the chicken as that's what takes the longest. And every time I walk around the door, I actually can't believe what I'm looking at. So this is the sight that I'm faced with when I walk into the kitchen. This is our lovely, lovely chicken. Apparently the giblets and things aren't in here, so it's all good to go. We just need to stuff it and do all the lovely bits to it so we've got some lemons and things here we've got some i believe this is stuffing yeah cranberry and apple stuffing so we're going to get to work on that we've got all of our spices over there and then a little bit later on we'll come back and start doing the rest of the vegetables and potatoes and things why are you looking inside a bit just to make sure they definitely aren't giblets <laughs> ew look at you <laughs> <laughs> i'm going to do a scoop in case they've not removed them properly Satisfactory pelvic <laughs> examination. Is it pelvic or rectal? That would be rectal, wouldn't it? Look at our little chef working hard. <laughs> it's reaching pressure point now. Everything's getting ready at the same time. Ready? Yeah. Ah! 
And a very good evening everybody. How are we all doing? Do we like my extremely pointy and sharp Christmas hat? I swear they're not usually that sharp but these ones just appear to be. We have just finished watching such a good Christmas film recommended to me by my friend Jess. It was called Single All The Way and it was so so good without giving too many spoilers it was about two gay best friends who lived together one of them invited the other one home for christmas and they were basically in love the whole time but putting it off and kind of giving away spoilers there they got together in the end but it was really really good and i recommend watching it if you still don't mind watching christmas films after christmas has finished i would give it a solid nine out of ten the only reason it's not getting a 10 out of 10 is because i would have liked to have seen them fall in love a little bit sooner and see all of their future plans come to life a little bit it did kind of cut that short however it's now just gone half past five and my dinner has gone down enough to warrant a quite hefty slice of chocolate log cake so we're going to go into the kitchen and see what we've got for dessert but i think that is what i'm fancying so these are our dessert options i'm aware it looks like quite a lot i did think we would eat this lemon drizzle cake in the run-up to christmas but we haven't which is fine because it's in date for a while yet so we might not need to have that today Charlie made this fridge cake last night. I'm pretty sure I showed that to you all on Christmas Eve. This was absolutely delicious. And if you like Rocky Road, you will love that. I know it doesn't look the greatest, but it was incredible. And then we have not one, but two chocolate log cakes, just because we bought this one for ourselves. And then when I saw my dad the other day, he very kindly gave me this one, not knowing that we already had one. Both of them look amazing. So I don't know whether to go for a slice of each or one and then a little bit of this. But the plan is to plate some of those up, either stick on another film, see what's on the telly or start playing some games. I have been gifted some for Christmas. So maybe we'll crack out some board games. I'm not too sure. Bring you all along with me and be sure to update you along the way. But I'm just having such a lovely Christmas day. It's been really, really nice. And I hope you're all enjoying yours too. <laughs> I don't want a lot for Christmas There is just one thing I need Don't care about the presents Underneath the Christmas tree All I want for Christmas is you And just like that, Christmas Day is over. I did think that we'd play a few more games tonight than we have, but honestly, the tiredness has kicked in. It's been a long day. It's been a long week at work, and we've got a busy few days ahead of us. So I think we're just going to call it a night now, to be honest. But I've had such a lovely day and such a lovely Christmas Eve, and even just a lovely build-up until Christmas. I really, really hope you guys have as well. And I hope this video has given you a nice little insight into our Christmas day at home it's been so nice to spend our first christmas together the big two five hopefully not the last but other than that there's not really much else for me to say so i hope you have all had a lovely christmas please don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below ready for all the 2022 videos and i look forward to seeing you all very soon in the next one goodbye